Every two years, artists from across the world flock to Venice for the Biennale. It's the biggest arts event of its kind. And this year, James Richards from Cardiff is representing Wales. He was nominated for the Turner Prize in 2014 and uses sound and video installations to try to provoke an emotional response from his audience. Our arts and media correspondent Hugh Thomas has been to see his work. Venice, so long a subject for artists during the Biennale, it's the stage for the world's best contemporary art. Wales tries to send its brightest talent, and this year's delegate is making a noise. It's the sound of James Richard's work that hits you first. Six speakers in this old chapel play a soundtrack of discord and half-hearted harmony. In another room, a film shows equally abstract images, all styled to stimulate the senses. I don't reinvent the wheel with every work or every show for myself, you know, but, but, but of course each time you do something, especially, you know, a big project and it's a commission and, you know, it's going to be exhibited on a very kind of high visible, highly visible sort of platform, I kind of want to use that as a chance to, to experiment and, and try and expand my language, if you like, as, as an artist. The new work is open to the public and the artist wants to provoke an emotional response. It's a bit tougher to get your head around than the more traditional art that hangs around Venice, but the critics have given it the thumbs up. With a budget of £375,000 from the Arts Council of Wales, it's involved a year of work with Chapter Arts Centre in Cardiff and Welsh students. It's really important for Wales to be at this great international biennale in Venice and to participate in the big debates about art in the modern world. The Biennale is busy and you have to work hard to get noticed. So why send a Welsh artist? Alfredo Clamerotti is the Italian director of Oriel Mostin in Llandidno, but he's here in Venice to curate another exhibition. He says the exposure is invaluable both for the artist and for Wales. If you think about uh, uh, Wales uh, as a nation, it's very famous for its music and spoken words and literature. But actually, steadily, we're progressing to become uh, a nation which is actually quite recognised for the quality of the visual arts. In Venice, the artists compete with the scenery, not just with each other. James Richard's new work is on show here until November. Ultimately, though, the art critics will decide whether his exhibition has made an impact. Hugh Thomas, BBC Wales Today in Venice.